morning and welcome to the 7 show. We have a packed show for you this morning, so get the coffee on. Yes, we have music, memories and sketches to keep you entertained. And even a tearjerker too, so get the tissues ready. So let's get on with our first report. In our final term, we thought it would be fun to challenge our teachers and put them on the spot. Yes, we thought we'd put them under pressure for a change. So let's head over to Connor and Alfie for more on these challenges. Well, all I can say is this will be fun. Absolutely, Connor. Believe me, you won't want to miss this section of the show. So let's head over to our roving sports reporters out in the playground. Thanks, Connor. Now, here we are at Millstrand Football Court. And my first competitor stepped forward for the semi-finals of the Keep Me Up Challenge. closer but there's no shame in losing to these guys. Fair enough, fair enough. And Dave, how'd you feel about that? You got a wee bit closer to Mr. Cooper but still pretty A wee well. bit. I thought it was going all right and it turned round and all the four <laughs> P7s were still going. Well that's how so it happens. So fair play to them. Well, de well deserved winners. Well thank you for that. That's us for now folks. Now over to Anna who's made her way onto the magnificent Millstranded golf course. Thanks Finn. So here we are on the 18th hole of the fabulous Millstranded golf course. We are joined by, by school principal, Mr. Reed, who rates himself highly on the old green. Have you got your sandwich? Uh, no, but I'm bad, will that do? <laughs> <laughs> and your um, opponents today are Mr. Reed, um, or can I call you Philip, or just Phil, or just Principal Reed? Whatever suits today. Okay, um, 
Oh, and by yeah. the way, your teacher's just lost her job. Well, it was Miss Grant getting to read the script. Mm, she's in trouble too. Okay. <laughs> um, and now let's find out um, the handicaps and the names of all our competitors. My handicap? Not getting enough chance to play golf. Okay. <laughs> Proctor, Katie Proctor. Handicap better than yours. Probably. Goldrick, Grace, Grace McGoldrick. Handicap better than yours. Wilson, Sophie, Sophie Wilson. Handicap better than yours. Here we are um, about to start the game and as you can see there are three tyres behind me and each player has a shot to try and get it through the tyre. So let's get started. First up, Grace. Oh yeah!
Who won? It was very close indeed, and second place came in Finn, but the winner is Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Caitlin, such a great Kamogi challenge. Now on to the real competition, four square. So if the ball goes into the square, then out, then that person who went into the square is out. And then if it bounces twice in their square, they're out. And it starts. So that's about it. How do you feel? A bit nervous here. Well, you'll be great. Caitlin? Sensational local Rubik's Cube champion 2021, the sensational. The Assault Yeah! And in my other corner, we have Oliver speaking good. Yeah! We've had the cubes checked and verified by our trusty adjudicator, Zach who's been a very busy man today. We just wanted to make sure that the challenge is fair before we start. Zach, are you satisfied that the cubes have not been tampered with? Yes, Alice, I've personally scrambled them myself. So, we're giving the boys a 15 second inspection time. So cubes at the ready, gentlemen. Three, two, one, go. Boys, are you both happy with how the cubes are? Yep. Yep. Okay then, now we're time to move on to the real deal. Get the cubes at the ready. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Tom! <laughs>
competition for the winner. And the winner is Oliver Speed King Good. Well, I'm sure you will agree that it's been a very exciting day here at Mill Strand. But don't stop watching as there's much more fun to come. Back to you in the studio, Carter. Thanks, Alice. We're now going on to... Oh, what's that? Okay, folks. I've just been informed that we will now head over to our roving reporters, Lucy and Amber, who have an exclusive look to an infamous Thursday senior management meeting. Lucy and Amber, over to you. Carter, ever wondered what happens on a Thursday afternoon when Mrs. Pan goes to meet Mr. Reed and Mr. Hannigan? Well, today we have an exclusive sneak peek. Let's listen. Oh, sorry, Mary. In you go. challenge. That wee guy Carter, he's a very good footballer. Oh, that wee lad Harry, he's so beautiful, nearly as beautiful as me. And I don't think the principal stood a chance against his opponents. And we're wrapping it up there, folks. Bye for now! See you next time. time! What a great show! Oh yes, I really enjoyed that. I can't believe that's our time almost gone. Yes, I really enjoyed it. No one told you life was gonna be this way